Welcome to the Carryflex Nail Restoration System. This video will demonstrate why Carryflex has become an important part of podiatrists' cosmetic management of toenail disorders. Over 35 million patients in the United States suffer from toenail fungus, and other patients contend with brittle and splitting nails, spoon-shaped nails, and discolored nails. Carryflex is a cosmetic solution to the unsightly appearance of these nails. Carryflex uses synthetic resins and special activators to create a durable, yet flexible artificial nail when exposed to a certain frequency of ultraviolet light. In as little as 15 minutes, you can create a realistic, natural-looking nail in place of the damaged nail. The Carryflex Nail Restoration System comprises three components, a bonding agent, the resin used to create the new nail, and a sealing agent. A specially designed ultraviolet light with a built-in timer ensures that the curing of the resin and seal takes only two minutes. Before the Carryflex procedure, you should check that the patient's nails and toes are as dry as possible and free of any lotions, oils, solvents or any other substances that might hinder the bonding of the resin to the toenail. The first step in the Carryflex procedure is removing as much of the damaged nail as possible. However, there must be at least 15% of healthy nail remaining for the resin to bond properly to the nail. As is typical for these cases, you can use a Dremel to remove flaky or discolored pieces of nail and to ensure a satisfactory cosmetic result for the patient. After you have removed the damaged nail as much as possible, wipe the toe with dry gauze to remove any nail debris from the Dremeling. When the nail is free of debris, you next apply the Carryflex bond with a white brush included in the Carryflex kit. The bonding material contains agents that help the resin bond to the surface of the nail and also accelerates the curing of the resin when it is exposed to ultraviolet light. When applying the bond, it is important to cover the entire nail with bond, to use only a light coat of bond and to allow the bond to dry for two minutes on the nail surface. Be careful not to touch the surface that you have treated with a bond so you don't interfere with the adherence of the resin to the bonded area. After the bond has dried on the nail surface, you are now ready to apply the resin to the nail. The Carryflex resin consists of specially formulated compounds that when exposed to UV light form durable but flexible chains of molecules. Using the black brush in the kit, dip the brush into the resin and beginning at the distal portion of the nail, begin to build the free edge of the toenail. As you apply the resin to the nail bed, avoid getting any resin on the skin or in the furrows where nail and skin meet. You can remove any resin on the skin with a wood stick. The resin will not adhere to skin and if cured with a UV light, will result in unstable adhesion and increase the risk of nail pops. You next pause to expose the toenail to the UV light for 10 seconds and then apply the next layer, anchoring the resin to the natural nail and stopping before the proximal nail fold to prevent lifting. Depending on the condition of the patient's nails, you may need to apply more than one coat of the resin to the nail. When you are satisfied with the coverage and the symmetry of the resin application, it is time for the curing phase of the procedure. Position the UV light over the nail and cure the resin for two minutes. If a patient requires a second or third coat of the Carryflex resin after curing with a UV light, you should be sure not to touch the cured nail with a gloved or ungloved hand. Touching the nail at this stage may break the bond between the first Carryflex coat and the next one. If you want to add more resin to what you have already cured, there is no need to apply Carryflex Bond after applying and curing the first coat of resin. You can simply apply another layer of Carryflex resin on top of the resin coat that had just been cured. The new resin coat would require curing with a UV light. After you have cured the resin with a UV light, Swab the new Carryflex nail with alcohol to remove the film that forms from the reaction between the UV light and the resin. In some cases after the resin application, you may notice some bumps or ridges on the nail, which you can file down while removing any dust that may result. There's no need to reapply the resin in this case. 
If you and the patient are satisfied with the aesthetic result of the CariFlex procedure, the next step is to apply a thin layer of CariFlex seal with a black brush onto the nail. Wipe the resin off of the black brush before applying the seal. After the two minute cure period, wipe the film away with an alcohol swab and the procedure is finished. Patients may immediately put on their socks and shoes. They may also apply nail polish immediately to the new CariFlex nail. For best results, the patient should use non-acetone nail polish remover. The CariFlex nail requires very little care. Patients should avoid kicking objects, which would subject the CariFlex nail to mechanical stress. Long distance running may shorten the life of the CariFlex nail. As the natural nail begins to grow, the CariFlex nail will also grow with it. As the edge of the CariFlex nail extends beyond the edge of the fleshy part of the toe, the patient should consult you for a filing back of the nail. If the nail extends too far beyond this edge, there is a higher risk of the nail popping off from the natural nail. Under normal conditions, the CariFlex nail adheres to the natural nail for about eight weeks. It may then be time for you to examine the nail and repeat the procedure. CariFlex is changing the way your patients look at their dystrophic nails. Be sure to ask them if they'd like to try this exciting new procedure for improving the cosmetic appearance of their toenails. There are certain patients who may not be eligible for a CariFlex procedure. Patients who have ingrown toenails, symptoms of peripheral vascular disease, arterial insufficiency, diabetic nerve disease, or pigmented lesions on the natural nail should discuss the risks and benefits of CariFlex with their podiatrist.